I'ma need safety. Tell the op can't snake me. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out of Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. This background number one. This thumbnails. Background number two. Background number three. <laughs> Listen, we had three and I haven't even finished the other side. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OG, oh no. Apply pressure, put heat. me demonstrate on time never late i grind celebrate no pump fake hesitate i've been scoring every day champagne perrier since nine three been in the box now stepping up tone like straight out the sand lot now plotting on the globe i work hard i show love that karma steady grind got this far i go hard let god take control i was starving skinny now my weight up got no energy for haters see you trying to see you later all right, y'all, I'm gonna be real, real transparent. This is one of the like frustrating parts of the she shade. And it's probably frustrating for me because this deadline is ridiculous. I was hoping to already have this thing done. And I knew this was gonna be a frustrating part because I am not a Libra person and I don't like putting stuff together. But come on, let's go into the she shade. As you can see, we finally, and I think I already showed you guys that we got the blinds in. I ended up having to do that part myself and just figure it out. But now let's go into the she shed so I can show y'all what really is driving me crazy. Okay, first of all, let's start with this. Now, I did not want to blast my contractor. I really didn't because I think he's a great guy. I just think he could have been a little bit more transparent with your girl, right? First thing is I said, hey, can you please put down some weed eater or give me a chance to put down weed eater? I don't want weeds growing through the shed. Oh, once you build over it, there's gonna be no sun, no light, no nothing, so you'll be fine. Y'all, do y'all see all these weeds growing through? Yeah, so if I go and put down weed eater, I'm nervous, it's gonna mess up the stain. I need to stain it again one more time anyhow, so I'm just gonna take a chance, but I'm letting it grow because he's supposed to come back to finish this threshold. And I feel like he should see this. So I go out of town to California, it rained a lot. It's been raining a lot lately. But can you guys see how this floor is stuck and damaged? The door is damaged. Like, anyhow. So he's supposed to be coming back to fix that. I got the desk. I was trying to put the desk together. But I started here. And this part is shaky. Right? So I was like, you know, I'll make a, that's the base of the desk. She probably shouldn't go any further. I tried to put the chair together. Child, I don't even know where I put the little Allen wrench for that. That's falling out. I'm gonna get that back together. One of the legs stuck. So guess what? The whole thing messed up. All right. Let's see, what's the other thing? I got some floating shelves we are gonna put up. But my last frustrating part, which I don't mind this frustrating part because it's me as a female. I got curtains. Y'all, the first curtains I got was too damn short. And I really don't like the height of these ones. I don't know what the hell I've been measuring because I measure something right. But I've been kind of debating between this design and just keeping it plain. So this is a plain one. But I honestly feel like I'm gonna just go with plain. I literally, right before I started recording, just the hell with it and ordered 95 length versus this 85 or 88, whatever, 84. So I'm taking this back because I really ain't feeling this. I don't feel like, I, I'm gonna have a lot of gold, but I feel like this is gonna leave me like stuck into design. I feel like this is more clean. So I'm gonna be going with that, right? 
Now, luckily we do have the blinds up. I don't feel real secure about the blinds. Mind y'all, Lowe's want you to pay before they do anything. So I already paid them $35. They came out and measured two weeks ago. I've heard nothing else about installing these blinds. So I just did it myself and I'm gonna get my $35 back. The last frustration, the neon light is gonna go here. Nobody seems to wanna put that in. So I did call my cousin, he's gonna come out and do that. As soon as he do that, all of these boxes are for the desk. Lighting, poles, things like that. Those are the microphones. That's a little bit better decor for this whole situation here. So we're going to get through this, but I'm a little annoyed. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> I finally got a break from work, so I'm going to head on into the shed and see what's going on. Because the guys did come yesterday and fix a couple things that was going on with it. So let me show y'all a couple things. Uh oh, I almost dropped the camera. Let me show y'all a couple things that we had to fix. I'm just so happy to get a break from work. So the first thing is we finally, finally have this whole threshold for the door. So I'm super happy about that. So the weather can stop going on. The door can stop blistering. Um, this weekend, I need to do some cutting of my, my hedges and my driveway. So I'm just going to knock that out at the same time. Sadly enough, I told y'all I wanted to keep that because I need the contractor to see like he was wrong. But I feel like he ignored that. So... It's so nice that he did fix this. The door doesn't slide anymore. The weather's not going in. So I'm super happy about that. And I got a lot of stuff off the floor. But now I just feel like I need to finish a bunch of stuff. So. I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back Dodging demons, coppers, hoppers probably hate me cause I'm black I don't know, I be spreading love, sometimes they mutual Just a seed that's from that darkness, but that's what it takes to grow Still in flow, still in motion Couple homies with me and we sipping on that potion Why the way for three? Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey Man, I am so excited that my whole apartment is finally done It's time for me to give y'all like the true, true tour. Y'all been watching, I already told y'all through the headaches I had with construction. I already did two other videos that walk y'all through the outside construction and the inside construction. Now we talking about like, listen, we like done. Now, don't beat me up because I said we were done. But if y'all pay attention right here and y'all looking in, video, in the video in the beginning, that wasn't there. So I, <laughs> I'm gonna be making like little minor changes, but nothing huge. I'm so excited, so I'm gonna walk y'all around my she shed studio my whole plan initially was to have like three maybe four backgrounds but i have even more not just what i put in here and why i put it in here but definitely to walk you through like the part that makes it a youtube studio for me i feel like every time i record a video where i'm doing like an office tour i'm wearing brazen <laughs> boutique clothing i'm gonna put the link in the description box they, they have absolutely amazing clothing like i feel bad because you guys can't really see it so let's see if i can fix this a little bit so y'all can see it real quick it's so comfortable like i like it because they like high rise shorts you know i don't really got much to show back they still kind of camouflage it but anyhow that's from breezy boutique now let's talk about my office right so this whole background right here i'm gonna walk y'all through it and tell y'all all about my she shed slash youtube suey i am so excited about it like oh ain't nothing but the lord so let's talk about it so I already show y'all what it looks like when you walk in. This whole ottoman I had in my old office in the house. And I really want it in here because I needed a storage in it. So if we go inside, then you'll see that I have like tripods, my extra mic, things like that in there. So that's like really a storage. But so far when folks come in, they have a seat right there and I like it. My plan was to have like little floating shelves all over here, but I changed that plan. I just felt like it was gonna be too much. As y'all can see, the AC is right there, so it kind of limits the room. I thought that this was just going to be like a little grand entrance area. Change of plans. My daughter came over and came up with a great idea. So this little area right here, we're going to make it Wasted Wednesdays background. 
y'all get ready i'm gonna love wasted wednesdays i'm going to go through and like use this background to like make a nice little cocktail so i'll bring in my little table make a cocktail but as i'm making a cocktail i have of course like the menu on the side i'm making my drink i'll be giving y'all hr tips at the same time now right here wasn't necessarily like a background area but this is where my plan was to like take the thumbnail pictures so i'll pop in a few of my thumbnail pictures this is the pictures you see on the video as it comes down your timeline so i would like stand right in the middle we can have like all one solid background now this serves as a dual purpose because this board is not just a background it's also a soundboard to help me with the sound so i love that too so that th there's no like echo in here or it kind of takes down the echo this was supposed to be another background and this looks very similar to the background that was in my original office and let's take the cheers out right this right here looks a lot like that other background and my plan was to keep it that way because when i talk about like regular hr stuff like all of my normal videos or majority of my videos then i will sit with this being my background i love it because i have like tons of books planners and stuff in there that i no longer use but that definitely want to keep and then you can see i still got my storage boxes in the back where i keep like sd cards plugs cords things like that so in the front i try to jazz it up a bit with like books that i currently read or books that i love or need to read <laughs> these are all of my like planners keep my life together then i just put a little my little um a while about hr teddy bear and then <clears throat> of course my camera i love candles this was supposed to be to the side a little bit it's not doing the right thing but Girl, you already have what it takes, so that, that goes there. I need a little motivation for myself, and I try to give y'all some, too. Of course, the infamous HR bag that's usually in the back of every video. Akita Man. I don't know if y'all know Akita Man, but she bought, like, a set like this, and I was like, oh, this is such a bougie way to, like, out my candles and things like that. So I got it on Amazon because it just popped up. My sister gave me this amazing journal for my 40th birthday. This was one of many gifts from her. And so I felt like that needed to be there. But listen, child, we always need to root for your damn self. We would say rooting, oh, girl, I'm rooting for you. No, root for your damn self. Be a little selfish sometimes. And of course we have years of Sherm books. I don't know what I'm gonna do as the time goes on, but I keep them all. So we shall see. And of course you need a little, yes, you can, girl. You can pass this exam. Don't let it beat you up. And so y'all remember this sign from being in the original office. This I think I got from like, home goods or marshall something like that got this on amazon got this right out of walmart have had that in the old office i don't know if y'all see it rooting for your damn self came out of target this came out of amazon my sister bought that i bought that in miami this came out of like marshall's no i think ross that came out of ross the rest of the stuff i've been had i know that little basket i got out of target the boxes i got out of michael's um, I'm going to try to like link as many things as I can. The floating shelves came out of Amazon, so I definitely put the links to those. This little like bookshelf, or I'll say book, plastic book, clear book holder, that came from Amazon as well as the flowers. So I definitely shared that. Probably if we look on the back, we can see where I got it from. Okay, so that's a, that, that's a Michaels buy right there. Either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, I think I got that at Ross and Forever Go. I actually got that for a boss one of my CEOs, um, but Lord, I don't know if he had fit the title no so I didn't give it to him. <laughs> and then I got that out of like Marshall's, Ross, Home Good. Um, a lot of this decor stuff came out of there, but the shelves came from Amazon. And so this background, my plan is to switch up this area and that's what we'll call our regular videos. And who knows, I might not switch it up as much because now I have so many backgrounds. Now we have this little cozy area. So I got this picture from Ross. I got the chair from Wayfair, got the stand from, y'all can see I'm a little fob and all, but anyhow, got the fan, the desk from Amazon as well, got the lamp from Home Goods, curtains from Home Goods, I mean from Amazon, the hangers are from, are the clank holders, clank holders, they're from um, Amazon, the curtains, Home Goods, and this mirror came from Target. Target for seven dollars, y'all. Seven dollars, child. I was like, "Ooh, that's gonna be perfect." This is yet another background. My plan was like, "Okay, I'm gonna just use this area to kind of relax. If I want to stay in the she shed, then I can edit in here." That's why I got the table. My daughter came in and was like, mm, "No, Mama, this is like another background." I was like, "Really?" <laughs> she called it the librarian chair. She was like, "Um, you totally should use that for your story time videos, y'all." So, yeah, well, now when I do a story time video, y'all can see me in this section. 
um, with this amazing picture that I got from Ross. So I can't wait to do my story times now. So look at this. Check this out now. We at the door, right? And I'm going to just turn around this background number one, this thumbnails, background number two, background number three. <laughs> Listen, we had three, and I haven't even finished the other side. This side, y'all may have seen <clears throat> this background to some degree. When I recorded the live with Courtney Rhodes, who's on season 15 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I'm super excited about it. The only thing is my adhesive keeps coming off of my, my wide lens. So I got to figure that out. I have regular lamps that I've been using, but they're so harsh. So if you look at some of my other videos, they're like super bright. This one I actually got because it's going to be a more gentle light in my face. So if you see, I just cut it on back here. And though it's bright, it will, and it's adjustable. So I like that too. Like I totally can adjust what it looks like. I dim it down. This is going to go a bit over my head. I have some weights that I need to put down here. And it'll come over my head and give me a whole different vibe of like lighting. And so I'm excited about that. And then I forgot. I told y'all all about where I got everything else from. This, oh gosh. I might have got that out like, I don't know. I had that so long. Because y'all seen me talk about that in like Black History. My Black History post on IG. Like either February of this year, 2023 or February of 2022. I got both of these out of Ross. Got this out of Michael's. These purple pillows came out of Amazon. These ones I've had for forever, but I actually bought those on Facebook Marketplace. This little ottoman came out of um, Wayfair, and so did these. Okay, so back over here. This light I got from, in case y'all want this light, I got that from Amazon too. All the gadget stuff I got from Amazon, except like the camera and the mic. But my plan was to hook the camera and mic on so I don't have like tripods everywhere like I did in the old spot. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't tested it yet. This is my desk. This is going to be background number four. I mean, obviously, y'all won't see all of my gadget stuff. So I'll move that stuff to the side a little bit. But this is going to be background number four. I primarily use this when I bring somebody off a happy hour with HR, you know, whenever I bring on a guest. And so y'all have seen this little flower before I had that. And I got that from my girlfriend, the up lighting. And there I got from Amazon. That's just a rug that I wrapped around a stand. So if y'all look at my IG reels, you can see how the stand was not vibing with the, with the vibe in the room. <laughs> and so I wrapped it with like a little furry rug from Ross. The chair, the desk, I got it all from Amazon. The mic as well. The light in the back. If anybody want to know where I got that from, I got it on Etsy. I'll try to tab the link for that too. And then here, I absolutely love this because I always just feel like like a globe sets its tone. We have access to the world. That's my speaker my girlfriend gave me when I left my previous job. She's amazing. My current VP of HR, she gave me that. I got this amazing little camera, I mean, um, candle from Target. I got that from like Marshalls of Home Goods. Now, let's see. I love my butterfly. Got that out of Home Goods. I don't remember where I got that candle from. I think. Oh, my sister gave me that. That was another gift from my sister. So, my sister gave me like a kit, a whole box of stuff. And so, my sister gave me that amazing little light. So, I love it. Her, my sister in law, and my um, nephews. And then they also gave me that candle and then let's go around a little bit they also gave me that book that i told you about right that came from my sister but i left out that my sister gave me this champagne glass and the candle that goes with that like it was like a whole bunch of stuff sis gave me i'll tell you they're good to me so y'all have seen this lot this a lot so whenever i go live with somebody on happy hour with hr i'll pull that sign up that's my little trash can i got from target i try my best to wrap the cords around and like hide them because i just feel like it's too much but those are the lights are uh, the switch that affect this light and before i go to the back of the desk to show you guys anymore you can see riley's bed y'all know she's gonna be on in here i left her out for the recording because she be in the way i got that from home goods this little rug right here I got from Ross. This rug right here I got from Wayfair. Love it. So Wayfair hook assist up. The, the lips, Amazon. I'm going to try to link everything, y'all. I'm going to try. Anyhow, so I just love this vibe. 
I love the vibe, but I also wanted it to help me with the sound, like so that I'm not echoing. Same thing as the curtains. Um, I'll close the curtains and that'll help me out. This picture, that came from Ross. And so this is what it looks like on the back of the door. The Shisha Hobby Lobby. Shisha sign. And I am so in love with my, this area, like my desk. It not only gives me like some amazing little drawers so I can kind of put some stuff there. You know, that's just my phone holder. And y'all know at home with Nikki, she used to live in Charleston and I won like a kit going to her open house or an event she had, her book signing. And I won these nice scissors. Like it was like a set, an office set that she gave. That's some equipment stuff. These are like nice little drawers. So I keep primarily the remotes in there. Because there's remotes for, like, everything. <laughs> and then I keep some backup, like, cord holders and stuff in here. And, like, adapters that I need whenever I'm using the computer versus the camera. One thing I love, love, love about this desk is, look at that. I like the light, right? So that's the light. And I also love that it is really a sitting desk. So hopefully, I'm going to just keep it still keep the camera still okay that's as low as it goes that's it going down this is it going up child oh so i can stand or sit isn't that nice oh look at it it's still going and this is just so comfortable to sit here like your foot is just oh y'all i love these type of rugs anyhow so i'm gonna bring that back down because the plan is that this desk has rollies right so they they roll where i want them to roll so i'm gonna roll it as much as i can <laughs> and i'm gonna roll it kind of catty corner right because i already showed y'all the first three backgrounds that's over there and then when i finished showing y'all those backgrounds i had showed y'all this background right turning this catty corner gives me background number five child so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna make this look because i don't think i want just the greenery back there we shall see but I am excited that I have five backgrounds out of this thing. And I'm excited for multiple reasons because this office has truly inspired me. Not only do I have five different backgrounds, but it inspired other people. So I'm going to do another session. We have multiple different like little things going on. If y'all watch Candy Burrs from Escape, Real Housewives of Atlanta, when she talks about different things, she has multiple backgrounds, right? So when she's talking about Amazon, she got one background. When she's doing her speak on it, she got another background. When she is interviewing somebody, she got another background. That's what I'm going to do here, right? I absolutely love the versatility. Mind you, I don't think we're doing that for us. We're doing that because we know y'all get bored too. <laughs> so we try to change the background out. But I'm excited because it inspired my cousin before I even started building. He was like, you should totally do a session that's called hr after dark and i love that so with hr after dark if y'all know steve harvey y'all listen to the strawberry letter in the morning times it's going to be like that we're going to talk about the raunchy stuff that happened in hr that comes to hr or that we hear in gossip nobody wants to record on this one sleeping with that one this one <laughs> doing this doing that i'm going to let y'all write in letters about your hot mess of a situation and then I will read that letter and give you the response of what you should do as an HR professional. <laughs> so I'm excited about that whole session. My cousin, uh, I was like, okay, tell me, what are we going to do with HR after dark? I loved it. He was like, it's just like the strawberry letter I said. I was like, where am I getting these letters? He was like, ask your audience. So y'all send me stuff anyhow. Now it's time to send me the fun stuff. Y'all always send me about your careers and what you should do. Should you take the certification? Which certification? How do you start your career? Now we're going to talk about something a little bit more elevated. So after you already start that career and you walk into this stuff that the books don't tell you, that the exam don't test you on, <laughs> you have HR After Dark to help you through that. And then I'm excited about Wasted Wednesdays. So y'all can tell me whatever tips you want to know, um, whatever things you want to know or you struggle with. But I'm going to tell y'all some different tips and hacks that I use. And then I'm excited about Happy Hour with HR. We got a list of guests. So just get ready, get on my email list because y'all, I'm going to be sending you, oh, I'm only sending updates via email with working a full-time job. Hold up, let me um try to figure this out because I still need to tell you about the lighting. With working a full-time job, it's kind of hard to oh, do so much. Between my fibroids kicking my butt, 
work being a madhouse and just personal life. It's hard to balance HR sometimes. And so I do a lot of automation. So like a, a lot of you guys will see me post on LinkedIn and then you rush in and like send me an inbox and I'm like, that's not even me posting. <laughs> Emails will go at a different time. I love that y'all respond, but it takes me a while to respond because I strategically like schedule those so I can work my full-time job during the day. And then we have client calls, we have resume reviews, we have mentor, um, career mentoring that we do. So with all of that, it's going to be difficult to like do as much like publicity and marketing about each visit, each person that's going to come on. I'm going to try my hardest to drip it in other places, but for sure I will never not drip it in my email list. So join my email list. I'll put the link down below so that you guys can join. I want you to tell me what kind of emails you want me to send you because I send out emails about videos. I send out emails about blogs. I send out emails about career development. I send emails about HR certification. I send out so many emails and I know that that ain't what all y'all sign up for. Like you sign up for one thing or another. So I'm starting to only send emails to people that tell me they want to know about my YouTube videos or that say they want to know about certification. So I'm going to send you guys a couple emails so you can just mark out what you want let's make sure my list is up to date so <laughs> this video is totally like long enough <laughs> so i'm gonna just go through the lighting real quick and then we'll be at the end of this video i'm excited to see all the new segments we'll have i'm excited that we just celebrated 10,000 subscribers i'm excited that we have the new career mentoring option coming up so we've always had a career mentoring option but it seems like majority of the people that got interested in it and that took advantage of it and the way i had the program set up it was totally set up for the people who are trying to start their career so times are changing now we have that as the ee to hr career mentoring so if you want to change from an employee and become an hr professional then you want the ee to hr career mentoring so that's what we'll go through your resume um, you do a whole resume review get everything that's included with that and then we'll dive into us having a couple of calls together but let's let's get into this lighting as y'all can see we have like four switches here one is, is like a dud no you do for them but this one goes outside so outside and then this is totally the lights up here and then this is for the ceiling fan y'all have seen me talk about these lights like crazy so i love it it was supposed to be like um dimmable lights we didn't do that again my cousins forgot so did i but i think we did what we are because the ceiling fan is dimmable so you guys have seen that already in the beginning of this video if not it's coming up right after this where i show y'all how this little thing works it's not only just a ceiling fan so you can see like the ceiling fan just started i like that you can like dim it down to like a mood and then you can also like hype it up to the other lights and then i like that if i wanted i can cut those lights off and then just have that one kind of change the mood a little bit so i'm super excited about that um amazon did the damn thing on that one shot so i'll put the link for that again i'm gonna try to make an amazon storefront because there's so much stuff in here and a lot of my clothes like i'll buy from amazon if i'm not getting it from breeze and boutique <laughs> since i'm just working from home breeze and boutique be doing the damn thing child <laughs> if not then amazon will take me out in the street sometimes that's pretty much my office tour y'all please tell me what you think i'm so excited about this new she shed slash youtube studio <laughs> i'm keeping all of my full-time work stuff in the house and that office then we're gonna change that office up a bit and make it into like a formal like guest room so who knows i might take y'all along the journey for that if y'all hit like if y'all comment on this video if you share it if you subscribe if you tell me in the comments hey to me i really like when you give us a behind the scenes look then guess what i'll do it for my other office too because that'll be my work from home space Get ready because I'm trying to get in the space where I will start doing vlogs of a day in the life of an HRBP. So if you want me to do that, then definitely let me know. I wasn't in a space where I wanted to do that before, but child, my mind clearing up. I got all these projects done. I have my appointment coming up about my fibroids. All these trips are kind of behind me. And so I'm like creative again. I'm excited. <laughs> I can breathe again. This was my last day running around. I did a lot of returns because I bought too much shit, which I knew I was doing. And so now I'm just so happy to have a new space with a lot of space where I can give y'all a better experience on these videos. So y'all, I'm gonna edit this video, get it uploaded. Y'all gonna see it on Tuesday, today is Saturday. 
we jumping right back into our normal routine. We have some lives coming up. There's a conference here in Charleston. I'm going to bring on Sonya to tell us all about that because I'll be a vendor there. I was supposed to be a speaker and I totally missed the deadline. My life was lifing. Um, so I'll probably be a speaker when she does it next year. I was going to be a keynote speaker, I believe. We also have an HR director coming on. She's going to give us some tips from an HR director's view. I'm trying to get Stephen Cohn to come on again and tell us all about some leadership skills. We have Nadeja coming back on. She is a career coach as well, except she helps all professionals, not just HR professionals. This is the lineup that I've secured so far that people have literally said yes. Um, actually, we have Akita Mann coming back on. We have Dom coming back on. All these people have said yes. I got a list of people, child. So I'm about to stop with this recording because I got resume reviews I need to do. Then I need to finish like officially schedule these lives and then I need to do some content planning so we can get on back to our normal videos all again. I know y'all tired of seeing me look the way I look in the old videos because I recorded a shit ton of them at one time. <laughs> y'all gonna still see these braids because I got the edges touched up. We gonna rock them for a little bit and I still have to go to Austin, Texas for work. I'll probably keep these braids and they coming out so you y'all get ready y'all gonna see these braids for a long time but thank you so much y'all for like watching another hr video thank y'all so much for all the people who champion me on like for real like real talk i keep on running through the logistics and the formalities of what i need to say to y'all but the people who diligently watch my ig stories and have voted every time i'm deciding between which curtains should I have or which color should I put the background? Like y'all have been amazing. I appreciate y'all voting on IG. If you didn't vote, it's because you don't follow me on IG. You don't be in my story. So I need you to follow me on IG because I'll still be bringing out more stuff that I want y'all to help me vote on. Definitely topics coming up for Wasted Wednesdays. <laughs> How you gonna know when we do HR after dark? Like follow me. Definitely will send emails, but mo most times, like, I'll drop them in my IG stories, too. And so, I just appreciate y'all. Like, I've had family members. I've had friends. I've had people I absolutely don't know who are amazing in the HR community. Like, been such a champion through this process. And it was an uncomfortable process for me for multiple reasons. And I appreciate y'all support. Like, for real. For real. For real. Like, FR, 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 FR. <laughs> I love y'all. Listen, please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up. I cannot wait, like real life. I can't wait to see y'all on the next video. I'm gonna kill it in these recordings. We gonna kill it. We gonna be excited. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OD, oh no. Apply pressure, put heat, oh no. Put that five zero zero degrees, oh no. Five hundred degrees. Go dummy, go beast. Going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate, on time, never late, I grind, celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate, I be scoring every day, champagne, Perrier, since 9-3, you could have paid me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in as good as your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tinted frames on me, leaning down. Winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue.